It's me. I'm back. How's it going? How's everybody? Yes, I've got some makeup on already. No, I'm not doing makeup today. I just stuck it on. It's look number two from the Profusion Celebration that I'm trying to get some more use out of. Picked it up at an after Christmas sale last Christmas. And I figured I'd get some more use out of it because there's some pretty stuff in there. Anyway, I have on occasion talked about being an author. And one of the things that I do is I kind of scout the competition. There are a lot of new authors that show up on things like the Kindle listings for anywhere from for free for the first book out of a series or for like, you know, 99 cents, $1.99. And some of those books are excellent. Absolutely excellent. And if you're still stuck in an area that's still on a pretty severe lockdown, having an electronic reader or having a PC or a notebook that you can put an electronic reader app on is a godsend. And the thing is, the books are in just about any genre you want to look for. And if you're looking for some of the older classics, they've picked up a lot of the older classics and they're putting them on for nothing. There's also like Project Gutenberg where, and, and Goodreads where you can go to pick up ebooks for nada. It, it's like, go get some of the older classics, have a read. Now, one of the people that I have found, and I am seriously addicted to this guy's writing, his name is Ashley Capes, C-A-P-E-S. He's an Australian, and the series that I got into to start off is about a character named Never. That's right, his name is Never. And we're up to about, let's see, I think there's seven or eight books at this point, because he did the first iteration of books, and then he had a prequel that he stuck on the, on the other side, and I, yeah, I believe we're up to seven if you count the prequel as a zero. And I'm going bats because he's got more coming. He doesn't leave you with an absolute killer of a cliffhanger. Bless him. But yeah, you, you can smell there's more coming. I read fast, which is part of the problem. And I get to the end of, of a chunk of series, and then they're going, oh, yeah, the next book is due. And I'm going, oh, withdrawal, withdrawal. Now, Capes is excellent storyteller. He does excellent characterizations. No, I'm not sponsored. He may never even know this happened. Um, but it's definitely in a science fiction fantasy genre, at least this, this particular set. He's got several sets of books with 
secondary characters. I haven't picked up any of the other ones yet, mainly because I have a book buying budget, kind of like my makeup buying budget, and, and I have to kind of spread things out a little bit. And I've, I've gotten addicted to several authors. I'll probably go through each one as I go along. This is something that I decided to try to see if you guys liked it. The Never Stories. We've got a pair of brothers that you eventually find out it's a pair of brothers that don't actually know their given names for reasons. So they go by these names they gave each other. The other brother has his own name that never gave him, and he named Never Never. And it was kind of like, you know, their mom didn't call them by their given names. She called them, you know, her boys and gave them other endearments and stuff. They never got called by their given names. You'll find out about that much later. Much, much later. Because it, in some ways, it's very defining of the character. But in some ways, it's, it's just kind of one of those things that's like kind of niggles at him a little bit now and again until he finds out some of the backstory on it. So, so we've got this guy, sort of medieval, very magic, lots of stuff. He's basically a rogue for hire. But you spend time as he takes jobs and does things and does his stuff, as he's going through different phases of trying to find out about his family, the rest of his family, to see if he can trace down why there are so many odd things that he can do. Because nobody else gets it. Nobody else has figured it out. And his brother is also off doing this kind of looking stuff. But for the most part, early on in the series, we don't really encounter Brother Dearest. And when we do, things get weird. It's good weird. It's fun weird. It's an adventure weird. Not everything is pleasant. Not everything is wonderful. But you're moving through his experiences. And it's great. Like I said, I love the storytelling. I love the characters. They're not flat. You can see when they go to do something, what they're likely to do, what, because you've learned about them. I'm going to have to start picking up some of the other Ashley Capes series, just so I don't go nuts while I'm waiting for the next Never book. Now, like I said, I, I read a lot. And some of it is, yes, research into the kind of competition I'm going to be facing when I finally get off my tuchus and finish editing the book that I'm currently pushing towards publication and get it out there. I need to know.
Capes has no worries for, for, for me coming up behind him. <laughs> Please. Um, now, part of what I'm going to be doing with this, though, is, yes, I have read some real stinkers. They're self-published, but... They haven't done things like have a, what some people call a beta reader in the self-publishing situation to go through and look for typos, look for wordos, look for really lousy framing of sentences, looking for just craptastic stuff in some cases. Now, there's one series that I actually really like, but in one of the books of the second section of series, because we first have the adults and then we have their kids, in one of the kids' sections, they call the character by its mother's name. And I'm going, uh, guys, that was a buh, buh. <laughs> That was a buh, buh. And you will find on a lot of the electronics that if something like that is found and pointed out, you'll see when you go to look at what books you have, they will come up and show there's an update, and a lot of times that's to fix the little things that people find. Now, the series I'm talking about, that's one of the few issues that that particular series has, which is, a, I'll bring up that one another time. But some of the real stinkers... That, the grammar is horrendous. And I'm not talking about bad grammar in dialogue. I'm talking about you can't figure out what the heck they're trying to describe because it goes around in circles. And the words are just wrong. And they're clunky. And they're bad. And I'm sorry, but when you are talking about generations of people, your descendants are not your predecessors. Your descendants did not come first, unless it's a time travel book. No. <laughs> I get so mad. I mean, ancestors. Why is this so hard to remember to use ancestors, not descendants? I don't get it. I mean, we've got Ancestry.com, not sponsored, just referencing, to tell us about our predecessors. It's everywhere. Everywhere you look, there is somebody trying to do your genealogy to find your ancestors. And people still will use descendant instead of ancestor. And I'm going, uh. Now, there have been a few of the stinker books that I have literally had to force myself to finish. And I was forcing myself to finish because it's a lesson to me of what not to do. However, those I don't intend to put on the film. For one thing, we have a very litigious society. I really don't want to be sued by some crazy person because I dissed their book. Okay? Okay. But yeah, they, oh, there are some of them that are just horrendous. But I'm going to encourage you to go 
check out the freebie lists and check all the book services, not just one. Check all the book services. Download them. Read them. You can get some amazing reading material. And standard stuff, cop procedurals, base mysteries, classic horror, fantasy, romance, science fiction. And I have had a lovely time with a lot of them. I started doing the, the collecting the free books and the really cheap books before I started really doing YouTube or really pushing myself to go after publishing. They were wonderful. They're the way I have found some of my favorite writers. Go pick them up. Read through the, read the descriptions. Because the description for the book may give you a clue as to how bad that monkey is or how good it should be. It's interesting to see how Someone who has gotten really, really good artwork for a book cover, but they have lousy stuff on the interior. It's dry here. Lebanese. Anyway, like I said, this is look two out of the out of the celebration palette. What do you think? Tell me what you think. Come on, I dare you. Anyway, I'm going to run away now, and I'm going to bite my fingernails and probably make a mention of this video on Ashley Cape's webpage. Now, I've also used <laughs> Mr. Capes as an example in one of the writing classes because I was like, okay, look, this guy has been doing dot, 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 dot. And this is the kind of stuff he writes, and it starts off with a free book, and, and, and you can look at it, and you can get a clue about your competition. So, yeah, we were trying to, it was one of the classes on trying to get published. And it's like, and if you're going to publish yourself, you have to do all the market research. And I was in my market research stuff, and it's like, I'm glad I ran across his book while I was doing that, because I've been reading the, reading the whole series that I started with. Anyway, go look. Go read. Pick them up. You don't necessarily have to pick up the ones that I'm talking about. I think it would be nice, but you have to kind of like the same kind of books I do. And see what's out there. You may discover your next favorite author. Or you may discover there are several you really want to avoid. Mark those down, too. Anyway, tell me what you think of the look. Go play safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, keep your distance, and remember, go vote, please. If you are in a location where mailing your ballot is an option, it's too late to guarantee it will get there on time.
take it to the courthouse, hand it over to the clerk, take it to a drop box, put it in, hitch a ride with a friend if you have to, but get it to the courthouse or a drop box before election day is over. Okay? Okay. Got it. I'm just checking. Making sure I was actually in frame. Anyway. Be good.